Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how and where the data gets saved when we execute the assessment and distribution cycles and what are the different business transaction types created during assessment and distribution cycles. Even if you have not attended or gone through our last two sessions also it is not a problem you will be able to understand what we are going to cover today in this session we are not going to post any transactions we will be analyzing and cross verifying the data we posted in our last two sessions uh, here we will be using cost center report uh, which we can see on our screen now and respective data tables like this let's go to our cost center report and select our sender and receiver cost centers here the sender cost center is admin cost center and receivers are prd hrd and itd click on ok click on execute here we can see four cost centers this is sender admin cost center and these three are receiver cost centers let's go to sender cost center report so here we can we, what we have done is that we posted one lakh rupees using transaction code fb60 and allocated this one lakh rupees to these three receiver cost centers using assessment method this one using secondary cost element the same transaction the similar transaction we posted one lakh rupees using fb60 and uh, this time we used distribution method assessment method and distribution method two types of transactions we can see here the difference is that 4016 this is a primary cost element the allocated amount is 1 lakh rupees so since it is uh, allocated using primary cost elements we can simply identify it as a distribution method and here we can see that this is a secondary cost element the same amount 1 lakh the similar amount 1 lakh is allocated using assessment method how we can identify is that this the, there is a uh, secondary cost element so similarly in receivers also we can see two amounts using primary cost element 4016 and secondary cost element ending with 001 the same transaction one lakh rupees of transaction similar transaction we executed twice once using assessment and the other one is using distribution this is a, in actual cost in planning also we executed the same scenario once for assessment and, uh, and one for distribution the data in this report is coming from three different tables this actual data is coming from table COEP and this planned cost data will come from two other tables COSP and COEJ this actual data is coming from COEP table and this planned data is coming from COSP and COEJ I will show you in detail let's go to our report and take this cost double click on this select actual line item and click on ok here we can see that primary cost element with the document number 501 copy this and go to table co ep controlling area give document number click on execute you can see the document number amount is 1 lakh rupees you can see the same amount 
So this value we posted using transaction code FB60 in FI. It came into CO with a different transaction type. It is transaction type is COI and business transaction type. We can identify this as a amount coming from FI to CO. And the cost element is 4016. This is the object number. Object number is nothing but it is a combination of controlling area and our cost center. It starts with two digits KS referring to cost center. KS and 2RCB is a our controlling area and ending with our cost center. Let me show you clearly. Our controlling area is 2RCB and our cost center is CC underscore ADM. So our object number will be KS plus our controlling area 2RCB plus CC underscore ADM or call center. Finally, it will become like this KS 2RCB CC underscore ADM. Copy this. Go back. Enter object number. Remove document number. We can see all the data posted to this object number. So this one lakh rupee is coming from FI to CO using this primary cost element, and this is getting saved in table COEP with the document number 501. So object number is ADM. The point to be noted is that there will not be any partnering partner object number. Here partner object number is blank. Why? Because this is a plain transaction coming from FI to COPA. These transactions are different. These transactions are coming from assessment and distribution. We will we'll see it in later. So this, this is done. Similarly, 1 lakh rupees is posted to 4019 GL account. Document number is 602. This we can see. 602. Cost element is 4019. Business transaction is COIN. Coin nothing but FI to CO. And the object is CC underscore admin cost center. Amount is 1 lakh rupees. So this section we completed, debit section. Coming to credit section. Here we can see 40161 one entry, 001 one entry. Double click on this. This is distribution. Actual line item, okay. Document number is 6000300. Copy. into document number, remove object number, click on execute. Here, in this report, 1 lakh rupees is in negative. But we, here we can see, total plus 50,000, plus 30,000, plus 20,000, 1 lakh rupees positive and 1 lakh rupees negative is there. 1 lakh rupees positive is the receiver's entry and negative is the sender entry. Sender is negative. Double click on this. You can see negative entries. 50,000, 30,000, 20,000. So from COEP table, the data is coming. This is using distribution method. How, how, we, how we know that this is using distribution method since the cost element used is primary cost element. Also the business transaction 
user for distribution risk RKIV. For assessment, it is different, different business transaction. So we, let's go to assessment. Assessment we will see we can see that this is a secondary cost. Click on this, select actual item, click on OK. Copy document number. Go back into document number. Click on OK. Here also we can see same amounts: fifty thousand, thirty thousand, twenty thousand. Plus minus, plus minus, plus minus. So how we are going to know that this is uh, these entries are getting posted using assessment method? This one and this one, these two columns. This is secondary cost element and business transaction is RKIU. Along with that, partner object is there. In direct entry coming from FI to COPA, this partner object will be blank. Since these entries are coming by using either assessment or distribution, for both, there will be partner object. So the whole data of our planning section is coming from table COEP. Sorry, not planning, it is for actual cost. For actual cost, the data whole data is coming from table COEP. Now, let's go to planning area. Here, we have posted two amounts, 1 lakh rupees each in cost element 4016 and one in cost element 4019 under planning. So, these two entries will get posted in table COSP. Go to table COSP. Select fiscal year 2022 and object number. Select our sender receiver cost centers. Click on execute. Execute. Here we can see actually we have only two items posted one lakh and one lakh, but here we are having four line items. So this one is actual line item which we posted using FB60. So ignore this one. This is the planned item RK business by, by uh, we can identify by using business transaction code RKP1. It is a planned item. So object number is admin cost center we planned 1 lakh rupees in admin cost center and cost element is 4016 and 4019 business transaction is rkp1 rkp1 this represents a planned amount double click this is the cost center in which we planned with respect to this cost element we can see rkp1 as a planned amount and the value is 1 lakh rupees. Yeah, 1 lakh rupees. Similarly, for this 4019 cost element, also 1 lakh rupees is there. 1 lakh 4019. This is a cost center. Amount is 1 lakh. Business transaction is RKP1. So, the data which we posted using KP06, we can see in our cost center report, is coming from table. COSP by using this business transaction code RKP1. Now go to allocation. We we use one lakh this one lakh one for assessment and one one other for distribution. Let's go for distribution. Double click on it. Click on plan item. We can see distributed 50,000, 30,000, 20,000. Document number, it is not occurring. Let's bring it up. Select document number. Click on OK. So here we can see document number is 309. But this, this, this data will get saved in table COEJ. COEJ. C O E K Control area to R C B document three zero nine. Here we can see 
50,000 plus and 50,000 minus 30,000 plus and 30,000 minus 20,000 plus and 20,000 minus so 50,000 is received by this cost center HRD from this partner cost center admin cost center is sending 50,000 to this HR cost center similarly in HR cost center admin cost center 50,000 is removed subtracted I mean to say 50,000 is negative to be, uh, this amount is sent to where this partner object HRD similarly in admin cost center 30,000 is removed and sent to IT cost center in admin cost center 20,000 is removed and sent to PRD cost center so here you can see the allocation cost element used is primary cost element 4016 and the transaction type is RKPV by this combination we can say that this method used is method used is distribution method if it is a assessment method in place of this cost element there will be secondary cost element since this is a primary cost element and business transaction is RKPV we can say this is a distribution method similarly go to the next line item 1 lakh rupees negative plan line items click on ok bring up the up and number document number is 402 table CO EJ new document number click on execute here you can see the same way 50,000 plus and 50,000 minus plus minus plus minus the difference is that here instead of uh, primary cost element secondary cost element used and the business transaction is also different business transaction is RKPU and cost element is secondary cost element so by this combination we can say that the method used for allocation is assessment method here the sender is admin cost center since in admin cost center there is a negative entry this is the admin cost center and it is sending the amount to HR cost center here we can see the positive amount is a positive means receiving HR cost center is receiving from admin cost center so finally the amounts for this planned costs are coming from COSP and COEJ KP06 value is getting posted in COSP and assessment and distribution planned is getting saved in table COEJ and for actual costs both see FB60 expenses and assessment distribution items both are getting saved in table COEP in total we can see three tables COSP, COEP and COEJ and the transaction types are COIN, RKPV and RKPU for planned for actual COIN, RKPIV, RKIV and RKIVIU for distribution and assessment. Thank you.